Hey YouTube and my subscribers, JC18904 here with a how-to video. I'm going to be showing you guys how to use a down caliper on your adjustable shocks that have the adjusting knob. Now what I got here is a regular down caliper. What I'm going to do is simply take the dial caliper and pull it back to the first 0 0.45 on the dial caliper going to the first turn and as you can see it's right on it now what I'm going to do is just simply take and see if my adjusting knob needs to be turned. Alright, it needs to turn a little bit. So, what I want to do is just slightly turn it down by turning this adjusting knob. Just slightly turn it. And it should fit now. It should be kind of snug. That one's pretty good. Now, I'm going to check the other side in the back. And it should be fine unless it needs turned. And it's fine, it's just right where it needs to be. Now, for the front, I use 0 0.25. So, what I have to do is move that needle back. It might be 0 0.20 because I was switching it out. Let's try 0 0.20 first. Now it should look like that. What you want to do is just put it between the cap and the adjusting knob. Yeah, 0 0.20 is what I got it on. Because I swapped it out, I just remembered that. I was running on uh, blacktop and snow because it doesn't need too much suspension flex. And I also use this on blacktop too, this setting. And I'll show you guys, this does not bottom out. Right there is almost all the way down. And my springs are so uh, good that the shock oil being 30 weight brings it right back up to where it needs to be. And the shock oil is getting kind of old and it still acts like what it does. And see, it will not bottom out. I know most people probably have problems with it. It depends on what kind of springs you got, too. Now, for the back, it comes right back up, probably around the inch and a half mark. But that's just perfect for me because I don't really jump my truck too much just into the grass. And it seems to do fine that way. But as you can see, it comes right back up. But I'm going to have to redo the shock oil in the back. But I thought I'd show you guys how to use the dial caliper, how to adjust your adjustable shocks. And comment, like, and subscribe. Hope you guys like this. If you guys want to know about any kind of uh, how to's on the two wheel drive or the four wheel drive slash, just let me know. And we'll see you guys later. Peace.